All right, after some GT Sport content over the past week or so, maybe two weeks, I think it has been three or four videos, uh, or at least two videos, I am back with a little bit of my bread and butter, or what has been my bread and butter for the past year or so, uh, and that is F1 gameplay. And this is another league race. I am at Brant's, and I'm going to do my best. I've been on a bit of a heater lately uh, when it comes to this league racing. I've been, I feel like I've been racing pretty well. I feel like I've been putting in good results. I got, uh, I got a, a sixth uh, P6 finish in our first race of the season. Uh, this is our second race of the season, so I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling like I'm in the groove. I'm feeling like I've, like I'm starting to put it together a little bit. And as the league has gotten faster, I've gotten faster as well, and still managed to sort of, um, sort of still compete despite us getting some faster guys in the league and the people who are already in the league just continuing to get better. So it, it just becomes more of a challenge every single week. So, um, you know, I've been practicing more. I've been trying to bring my best racing skills every single week. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. And uh, this is one where you will have to see which one it is. But we're on our qualifying lap here currently. This is my second lap of the session. Um, on my first lap of the session, I think was decent. I can't remember if I did it on mediums. I think I did it on softs, but it was, um, I, I wasn't too aggressive with it. I didn't do anything crazy. Kind of botched that right there on that lap, but um, it could have been worse, I would argue. So we're about to cross the line. I'm roughly three tenths up on what I had previously. Cross the line with the 130. Point five. That's good enough for P7, but we have six minutes left in the session. I went out for another lap, ended up invalidating it, unfortunately, uh, so that one did not count. So we end up in P11, which means we are in the ideal spot for an alternate strategy. So you see me start in the mediums, and the key here, uh, you, you know, I mean, I think there are a lot of keys, actually, but the key here for me was keep it clean, keep it safe. You don't want to ruin your race in the first lap because you're on the mediums right now. So if I have to pit on lap one to replace a wing or something like that, I'm going to go into the softs and um, I've got to run those for the rest of the race. And 13 laps, that's not crazy. I mean, it's doable. But if you've ever if you've ever had that exact situation happen, you know that those softs get <laughs> tough to drive on by the end of the race. So it's kind of key for me to just keep it clean. And it looks like I've done that up to this point. Still P11. Trying to stay within range of the guys ahead of me, except for Chris. Hated to see that. He just took a dive into the wall. I can relate to that. I've been there. I've done it. Uh, I feel for him. That certainly is a bummer. But I am trying to stay within a second of the guys in front of me to hopefully get a little DRS action when we come to lap three so that I can stay within range uh, and get as far up as I can to sort of maximize my opportunities to come out as far ahead as I can of everybody else when I finally pit. So uh, just trying to keep it clean, basically. So you see me up to P9, saw some guys off the track. Uh, I don't know what that was about, actually. I didn't don't, don't remember seeing anything about it after the race, so I don't know if it was an aggressive thing or what. Kenny's right in front of me here. Um, I felt like I had a little more pace than Kenny did, and it was sort of to the point where it was it was a little uncomfortable to chase him here. Like right there, you see, um, I stopped quicker than I would have liked to stop. I got rear-ended by incident and pushed off the track, which has has a couple downsides. Okay, so now I'm almost a second behind Kenny Hitman Hart because of that little incident there. No pun intended. Also, Incident now has a broken or damaged front wing, so I, I, it's really, really tough to follow him. Um, he, you know, I it's I don't expect him to just yield and let me pass him. Absolutely, but I need to find a place to get past him because he's not taking these corners very quickly, and we're losing a ton of time to Kenny Hitman Hart. But the downside is that he has no reduced speed so I uh, it's tough for me to get past him I'm pretty sure he was defending there with a little bit of the ERS and I just I couldn't make a go at it right there I wasn't close enough so I'm losing tons of time behind incident I've got Juzzy right behind me and Guitar Hero behind him and I need to get away from these guys so you see me take a little go up the inside there it's a little bit risky got the track limit warning but I had to do it I had to get away from incident or I was just going to spend way too much time 
uh, right behind him. So you see I'm over a second behind Kinney at this point, which is unfortunate. It's going to be really tough now to get in DRS range starting on lap three. But I am going to try to do it if I can. I seem to remember now yet. I couldn't do it. So fast forward a little bit. Everybody else is pitting. I never caught up to Kenny. Uh, I think he pitted lap four maybe. But you see us going into lap six here. Everybody else pits. So I'm actually taking the lead of the Grand Prix, which is a nice nice problem to have. And uh, I honestly, I've, I'm building quite a lot of pace here. I've run very clean. I've run very fast. You see me up to seven-ish seconds ahead of Juzzy, Alex, Moose, those guys. So I, I'm, I'm building quite a bit of pace here. You may remember that Juzzy was uh, maybe a second or two behind me a couple laps ago. So I managed to build about six seconds on him over, what, four or five laps, I guess it was? Five, six laps. And it was a really clean race for me, I think. Uh, you know, there wasn't a lot of action to show you there, so I didn't show you any of it. But I was racing clean, racing solid, uh, just putting in good lap time after good lap time and building a bit of a lead so that hopefully when I do pit, I come out ahead of everyone else uh, if, if everything goes according to plan. And as it currently stands, I don't think that I checked where I was going to come out on the, you know, you can scroll through the MFD and you can check where you're going to come out. Uh, but I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about it just based on the race that I've run. You know, I started P11. Uh, I've definitely passed some guys on the track. Uh, and I feel like I've also probably gotten at least one or two guys just by being a little bit faster. Even guys that I didn't pass on the track but that were that were around me. And Juzzy, I think, actually started behind me. I, I think, think Juzzy actually started P20 and had a, a roaring start to get up to P11, if I remember correctly. So that was uh, good on him, but then he was pretty close to me there for much of the race. So you see me going to the pits here with the lead on lap 8. We'll fast forward through the pits. 2.6 seconds, not too shabby. Come out of the pits in P9, and I am 7 seconds behind Hal, my teammate who's on the mediums. I am a little less than a second behind Eleventy, uh, who is not my teammate and has a three-second penalty. Uh, Incident is three and a half seconds behind me with the three-second penalty. Kenny is, uh, you know, roughly half a second behind him. So I'm not too worried as long as I can race cleanly. I'm not too worried about Incident and Kenny behind me. At this point, I'm thinking maybe there's a universe in which I can catch Hal. Um, Eleventy is a really fast racer. So it's not outside the realm of possibility also that we could sort of uh, help each other leapfrog with some DRS and stuff. Uh, you know, not, not, like, um, not like collusion. I don't know the guy. I wouldn't collude with him. But hopefully we can maybe get a DRS train going amongst ourselves, just sort of swapping the positions and taking the DRS and, uh, and move up because I think we could both probably benefit from it because I know that he wants to stay... Uh, outside of the range of Incident and Kenny, who are behind me currently. Uh, and Incident looks like he's probably outside of the range of 11D, but with 11D with a three-second penalty, and Kenny uh, only five and a half seconds back of me, about six total behind behind 11D. I mean, that's not outside the realm of possibility, especially if 11D ends up getting another three-second penalty. So um, I do I take a little run there at 11D to try to get past him, and I've got it. Got it. Um, I tried to get it, or I tried to do a DRS pass a couple times during this. You know, I'm, I'm racing along with Eleveny for a bit here, and it was uh, it was a little tough to get past him. I mean, I think he's fast racer. He's uh, probably faster than I am on the aggregate, and I think he probably got in a little trouble to be sandwiched back here with me. But I'm on softs and he's on medium, so I was hoping. And thinking that I should be able to get in front of him and I do at this point I do feel like I can catch Hal and of course you know amongst teammates uh, I don't want to like ruin Hal's race obviously trying to catch him 11 uh, made a run at me there and I was not about to compromise my race trying to defend that move it just was not worth it especially when he's got three seconds of penalties and now up to six seconds of penalties uh, I have nothing to gain and everything to lose by tangling with him there so decided not to do it decided to just back off let him have the position and maybe make another go at it and here's my go right here going down the straight into lap 12 
again, same logic. I just didn't want to push it. I wasn't going to ruin the race, especially with Alemany having a six-second penalty. And it may just be time to accept that I'm not going to catch Hal. Hal is uh, only three and a half seconds ahead of me, but I'm getting mired behind Alemany. I can't get past him. I don't have the free air to just make a run at Hal on on his mediums and me on the softs. So it's just not going to happen. I, I don't think I'm going to catch him. Of course, I'm still going to try. And you see me hit the DRS right there and go after Levendy a little bit, have a nice little, open up a nice little advantage over him and just had a line that was just not great. And that could have gone very poorly, to be honest. But uh, that was either smart, uh, smart play by 11D or just lucky I don't know but we didn't tangle there although I was on a line that was just you know it's it's kind of tough to be on the inside going into that corner uh, we, it's not really optimal and if there's another car on your right outside there it can really get pretty ugly very quickly and there were a few times during this race where I was sort of too wide with a guy right there and it worked out every time so that's always nice but it certainly could have worked out very poorly but we are going into lap 13 here, and at this point, I think it's just managing the race. I, you know, I'm thinking in the back of my mind still, well, maybe I could catch out with a really good lap here. Um, but I'm pretty low on battery, so it's going to be tough if I do it. It's going to be very tough. So um, I, I'm certainly still going to try, but I just, it just seems less and less likely the closer we go. I have no hope of catching Jerdy unless he makes mistakes. So. Um, Alemany here, same situation. I'm not going to press that issue. Just not worth it. Um, I have nothing to gain here. P7 is mine, and I'm not going to tangle and crash and ruin that for my ego or whatever. It, it's, it would be very nice to get the position on the track, but it doesn't always work out like that. And... I do pride myself on generally avoiding penalties for track limits and pit lane speeding and that sort of thing. So um, it's sort of just live to fight another day, be consistent, hopefully, and just take what you can and try to maximize your pace amongst all that. So we're about to cross the line here. See some wreckage all over the last turn of the track. Uh, that didn't look good, but I didn't see an incident about it. So I guess it was fine. We cross the line here. I am P7 after the penalties of everyone around me. A couple seconds behind Hal, who got P6. It's a good result for the team. Good race for me. It's the perfect alternate strategy race. I love it. It's what I want every time I start P11.